How you going, Houston? How's it doing? Whatever. I'm white. All right. Um, hi. Everybody good? You good? Sweet. Hi, my name is Justin Thompson, and uh, I know it's kind of weird looking at me. I have kind of an odd look. Kind of look like if you made a Muppet baby out of a 1970s crotch. Um, I know, it's a weird look. The first thing you notice about me is I have a big beard. A uh, couple of things about beards that are stereotypes if you watch television. First of all, I'm not a lumberjack. Second of all, I don't know how to customize any of your motorcycles. And third, I don't know how to make any use out of a bitch as a duck call. Um, not one. I do use that last one to pick up chicks, though, if I go into country bars, though. I'm like, yeah, I'm one of their cousins, baby. Quack, quack, get over here. If I go to a hip-hop bar, I cut tell everybody I'm Rick Ross's white cousin. Um, and if I go to a gay bar, I'm what's known as a bear, in which case, I finally get some free drinks. Uh, been waiting all my life to somebody be attracted to all this, and it just happened to be effeminate white gay dudes. Um, lucky for me. Uh, the second thing you notice about me is that uh, I'm a bigger dude. I am. Uh, thanks, lady. Uh, <laughs> that was the rudest thing possible to say. Uh, <laughs> I am. I don't know, though, look, I noticed it whenever I went, uh, oh, I went overseas and I entertained the troops. And when you're over there, they give you a flat jacket, right? Uh, they give you a flat jacket, so just in case whenever you're flying around and you get shot at, you'll be bulletproof. Well, they give you mine, they go, hey, this doesn't fit. They go, that one's the biggest one we got. And I went, damn, I'm too fat to be bulletproof. <laughs> so I had to look at myself, I'm like, I don't have big arms, I don't have big legs. Like, I have absolutely no ass whatsoever. <laughs> like, it's just back and thigh. It's my body area. In retrospect, I probably shouldn't call this my body area. Um, <laughs> Now that I think about it, <laughs> but I do. And every time I sleep on my stomach, I'm like a foot off the bed. <laughs> do you know what it feels like to go to sleep at night and feel like you're constantly skydiving? <laughs> Only positive thing is I had that dream where I'm falling and I hit the ground. Probably got to shoot. It's uh, only a good thing. I have been trying to date recently. Uh, I'm trying internet dating. Uh, I met a girl on blackpeoplemeet.com, and um, and she was Korean. Uh, so the site really works. Uh, should have known that the date was going to be weird, because right in the middle of it, she started using weird analogies about her vagina. She goes, I just want you to know that I'm not an easy girl. Downstairs is like the Bourbon Mall. I'm like, you know that came down, right? <laughs> So she decided to switch up analogies, and she's like, well, then it's like the Great Wall. I'm like, 